Begin with that developing story. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross is live at the crash scene with more. Jeremy. Well, good evening, Rob. I want to immediately warn our viewers some of the video you're about to see is of a graphic nature. Now, the crash scene took place right behind me. You can still see remnants of where the impact took place, but it's from a surveillance camera not too far from our location. You get an idea of the forces at play here, leading to one woman's death and an ongoing police investigation. The fiery fatal impact, a result of a car smashing into a utility pole, the collision seen on surveillance video. The blazing aftermath high above the crash, captured by cell phone. Whoa. The images leaving some speechless. It's really sad. Shocking to look at. Yeah, I mean, that is absolutely terrible. The charred remains of a bent and battered 2009 Nissan Coupe came to rest near the intersection of Ontario and Orleans. That's the place where police say a female passenger in her 20s died. Just as shocking as the collision, however, police say the driver not only survived, he managed to leave the scene. Westbound on Ontario on foot, cut up and bloody. I have several witnesses tell me that the driver walked away from that crash over here. It was irresponsible. It was selfish. Be a good way to put it. Um, especially when you have someone in the car with you, you can't be making can't be making choices and decisions like that going that speed. This afternoon, police return to see if there are other businesses with surveillance or neighbors that can help with their case. I hope the police can find them. But I do hope there is some justice for the person who lost their life out of this. Tonight, there is no word for the medical examiner's office on who this victim is at this point in time. Meantime, police are telling us no one is in custody in connection with this ongoing investigation. Live in River North, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Rob. Okay, Jeremy, thank you.